hello everyone so today I'm going to work on how to make these searchlights alert enemies when the player get detected by the searchlights so here let me stand in the view of the lights if I got detected see now I'm detected by the searchlight and the searchlight keep following me and then he started to shoot at me so if I break the line of sight for a while now the searchlight look the other way and the enemies in a while enemies will try and search the area and if I got detected by the enemies once again the searchlights will start pointing at me see Now the searchlight also pointing at me even though I was not detected, uh, initially detected by the searchlight because the enemy uh, notified the searchlight to point at the player. So that's why these both searchlights are pointing at me at the moment. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. Okay, so, so far we have worked on uh, making these searchlights start detecting the player character but still it's not alerting the enemies and that's the part I want to work on today. So first let me open the searchlight and here Let me remove this. We don't need this print anymore. So when we do the sweeping here, if the detecting, so this turning towards the detected enemy, when we do that, we can consider the enemy is detected. So here, if we have a way to alert other characters, other enemy characters, uh, then it would be, it would look like uh, by detecting by the searchlight, the enemy, uh, the player is detected easily for enemies. So for that, we need to make a noise on the detected enemy. So, um, do we have a way to make a noise? I don't think so. Make noise. So, now we have this announce location. So, if I call this interface event, so this is something that I implemented when I work on the AI system when player is detected by one enemy we can use this announce location event to alert other enemies so we can use the same event um, here announce location let's try this Nothing. See. Oh, yeah. Good. But uh, it's yeah, as I can see, it didn't alert. It didn't make the enemies go into the alerted mode. I think it simply created a noise. That's it. So, and also here we have this max range 2000 so we need to have something higher than that therefore 
we can do something like this I think for the guns I make a much higher noise so here if I just shoot a gun you see I start getting detected by enemies from over there so I think we need to have that much of a uh, noise range to make this look uh, make this detection by searchlights accurate or effective right uh, so here I'll add a new input range float I'll give 2000 as the default value so that by adding this value since it is by default 2000 uh, in the places where I have already called this should not have any I wouldn't have to do any change because here I am also using 2000 and by default it is 2000 Right now for the searchlight, I'll make it a bit larger, say 5000. Now I should get easily detected. See, now I'm getting the And now I evade it. So they must be come searching for here. But they are over there, so yeah, see, taking a look, sweeping the area. Uh, another thing that would be nice to have is when I get detected by one of the uh, searchlights, the other searchlight also start pointing at the player. So at the moment, and also, see I am still detected by enemies, but not by the searchlights. So searchlights should keep following me as long as enemy characters, uh, uh, enemy characters have detected me. So how can we do that? Um, if you remember, we created for the search lights we created this subscribe to character events interface let me open that and then we implemented this notify character event function here I might add an additional parameter here event and another actor so this could be any actor that that is relevant for the event so I'll call it relevant actor Now, um, where did we implement this? Notify character event. Oh, should be in base character. Um, anyway, uh, no, it should be not base character. Yeah, it should be in base character. Uh, But we used it in anime because can't find it. Let me do a find references in our classes. Yeah, notify character event. Okay. 
let me compile this right and I will also promote this to a variable relevant actor and where do I call this should be in anime yeah when we die okay so now what I want is when the anime character have some target it should notify the listeners that I do have a target I do have an active target so for that we have a variable called show target where did we create it Set your target. Yeah, I think it's NPC. Yeah, yeah, show target. Okay, so we set your target when we start shooting at a character yeah when we first call this can i show so so when we set at this point we could call notify listeners and event oh now we need another event Enumerations Character events Target updated Okay Now here Target updated and relevant actor is shoot target similarly when we release shoot target also we need to do this here notify listeners and relevant actor is now all right now in the search light here so notify character event at this moment we only check for death so we may have to update this let's have a switch and if it is death go this way so we don't need this branch and if it is target updated we can set detected enemy like this and also we might need to set enemy detecting value to 10 because we use that one also to determine if we have a valid target right now let's see i didn't go detected this time i got lucky okay keep following immediately go for the and the other one too go so that's what I wanted if I 
take the line of sight for both characters. Now they're not pointing at me anymore. Oh, I died. Okay, so anyhow, that's all I wanted to do. Wait, while well, I get some errors. Yeah. I think here we need to check the validity of the detected enemy before trying to use it here. But don't I already do that? Thought I did. If not, have a delay. Right now, I should not get any get any errors. Let me test. So, without getting detected from the light, if I just make a shoot sound, and now I'm detected by the character. So again, searchlight is pointing at me too. I didn't get the error, so it's working as intended. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.